Hey, it's me, Queen V. Hey, how are y'all? I hope you had a good week. Now, last week we talked about um, faith. And what is faith? That it's impossible to please God without faith. According to Hebrew chapter 11, Hebrew chapter 11, and we went over this, but I want to read that scripture. Hebrew chapter 11, it says, but without faith, it's impossible to please God. It says to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those of them that diligently seek him. So you got to believe, first of all, you got to believe that God exists. You also got to believe that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So if you, if you believe, you got to believe that God is, you got to believe that he's a rewarder. Some people think God is only a punisher. He is a rewarder. He wants, he wants you to diligently seek him. Okay. So if you're dealing with some type of issue, it could be finances, it'd be your health, dealing with relationships. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. And so you say, what does that mean, Queen V? That means that you you say, okay, this word, this is the final authority. And and we and, and we're gonna live by this, and we believe that all is gonna be well with our family, with our finances, and everything. And so you take this, you hear it. You, you get exposed to the word, whether by watching videos, whether by reading or listening to CDs or whatever. You got to be exposed to the word of God and then you got to believe it. And then it, it goes from belief to knowing. I know this is real. I know this works. And so you begin to make actions toward what you believe. Like the woman with the issue of blood. She had been sick for a long time and she had spent everything she had on doctors. So her physical condition made her broke. All right. But she heard, she was exposed to the word about Jesus. She heard the word, she was exposed. And so she believed it. She believed. And then she said, I know this is going to work for me. That's when she got the courage to say, if I can just, just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be healed. And she, then she got exactly what she had faith for, what she was believing for. But she had to hear about Jesus. She had to make a move. She couldn't just, she didn't just stand there in James chapter two. If you have your Bible, turn to James chapter two, and that's in kind of in the back. And it's after um, Hebrews, if, if I'm not mistaken. But James chapter two talks about how faith without works is dead, being alone. So you can't say, well, I got faith that this is going to happen and I believe this is going to happen. And you never make any steps toward what you believe you got to put some feet to your faith you got to have you got to have um some type of tenacity go and get it I, I remember a story of one of my former pastors he said that um they didn't have any food on their table in their refrigerator and the cup they had no food and so um and, and and the family had to be fed he had two children boy and a girl and what he did, <laughs> he set the table and um, they all sat down knowing no food was in the cupboards or refrigerator. 
They sat down. He sat in the table. They all sat down to eat. And, and when they did that, guess what? There was a knock on the door. And somebody had a box full of food for them. So he believed that God was going to supply. So he acted like God was supplying by setting the table and by sitting down, getting his family to sit down. And then a knock came at the door and the food showed up. See, some of y'all, some of y'all feel like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's just for pastors or that. No, you have to have faith for everything. Even if, if you know, if you believe in God for a certain job, a certain amount you want to make or uh, per month, then you start writing that stuff down and, 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 and get in the word, you know, about getting God's word. God desires for his children to prosper financially. He just don't want us to, you know, be barely making it. And I, and I, I believe that. And so if you believe that, you find the, find the scriptures in the word concerning that, concerning finances, and start reading them, reading them out loud. Start making it personal. Like, oh, yeah, I believe this. And then start acting on it. If he says, if you give, it's going to be given unto you good measure, pressed down, shaken together. When you give, believe with your whole heart that, hey, God, this is what your word says, and, and, and I'm giving in faith. And I'm believing that you're going to give to me good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. And you're going to use somebody to give to me, to multiply. God multiplies the seed sown. That's, that's his system, his way. And so when you read the word concerning that and you start sowing and giving, then you have to believe that, hey, God, you know, God got this. I mean, I believe this word, so I'm going to act on it. Faith without works is dead, just like your body without the spirit is dead. Yo, you are not even who you are without your spirit. If your spirit dies, leaves your body, then it's you just like a, a, a cocoon, empty cocoon. Like the butterfly is gone. So you are not you without your spirit. So faith is not faith without works. You can't say I got faith and don't do nothing to show that you have it. The reason why some some people are popular and well known is because they stepped out on faith and did something that they believed in and they went and did it. They didn't just sit there and talk about it and dream about it. They, 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 they believed enough to get up and do something. So you got to put some feet to your faith, put some feet to your faith. And that's all I have for today. We're going to continue that. Uh, next week we'll be talking about how to how do I get faith? How do I get faith? If if I haven't been having faith, how am I gonna get to the point where I'm able to move and walk by faith and 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 put some feet to my faith? How am I gonna do that? Next week, y'all have a good weekend. God bless you. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and have a good weekend.